Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube. In today's video, I'm wearing a hat because I went to the dentist this morning and I went to the shooting range afterwards. So I'm having a pretty good day today so far. Now we are going to dive right into ICP and we're going to just look at what's going on in the ecosystem. We're going to look at the news, the charts, things like that. We got a tweet out of D City, folks. I'm bullish on D City. You guys should check out their NFT projects. You can actually own a plot of land in their little metaverse. How has the concept of owning your in-game assets changed the way you think about gaming? D-City Public Launch is slated for February 4th. As development continues, holders can expect benefits from exclusive in-game interactions, objectives, and special events, folks. Super bullish on this project. I can't wait to see this live. I can't wait to see what they've got coming for us. I uh, got a tweet out of the one and only Dominic Williams, folks. I just love saying it like that, right? Smart contracts on ICP will directly invoke smart contracts on Ethereum. Ultra powerful chain key crypto will seamlessly blend their network's capabilities. Ethereum dApps and Web3 services will start to migrate off big tech's cloud, folks. I love the point that Dominic Williams makes here. Really, when we think of Ethereum, what's the first things that come to mind? high gas fees, we're thinking about network congestion, we're thinking about how all these dApps that are built on Ethereum are running stuff off Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, things like that. So what Dominic is going to say here, or what he is saying here, is that simply, we're gonna see some of that migration from web to cloud over to ICP because ICP costs $5 a year per gigabyte to store data. It's absolutely cheaply insane. Tonight, I am gearing up to uh, do a collab here with ICP Squad Victor and Bitcoin Renegade, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. How to prepare for an ICP bull run. I like it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, are you going to buy that Lambo once ICP runs up or uh, pay off some debt or buy a house? Whatever. Uh, it's going to be an interesting combo. The Island Collective, folks. I'm bullish on this. This is a VR suite. I have played this on my Oculus. Uh, it's sick. So it's, it's been a while. So they are throwing out some teasers here. I know that they've been working hard on this application. I'm supposed to link up with these guys to do uh, some sort of collab with them to check out their new metaverse. Uh, I, I believe soon. Hopefully it happens. Uh, we got some news here out of poke bots. The official burn event for poke bots generation 2.0 will start on January 26th. So tomorrow at 12 a.m. Eastern time and will run or European time and will run for a total of seven days. So I believe this is where you can burn your, your generation one bot. Uh, as you can notice here, and I believe you'll get a Gen 2 bot. So I'm conflicted on this. You know, it makes me want to pick up another poked bot so I don't have to burn it uh, because I've got a poked bot with uh, some pretty good rarity. Look at Crypto Bubbles here. Aptos is absolutely stealing the show from all the other projects today. It's making every other project uh, look terrible. Up 43%. I see, well, we're up about a half a point on the day. Still 46% on the month. Currently trading at $5.73 right now. Here is the weekly charts, folks. You know, it's been a glorious three, four, five weeks. And we're seeing still great, you know, bullish engulfing of candles. We're starting to see the candle body slow down. Uh, we're starting to see some resistance right around this 5 99 six dollar ish level i do think that we might form some sort of symmetrical triangle over the next few weeks or maybe even an ascending triangle or flag and i still believe folks that we're gearing up to come and test this 50 moving average now let's just dive into the ic price here at a super high level here let's go to a 12 hour chart and like i've been saying folks you know, this this recent run up that we've seen happen here from December 20th, December 19th has been clear as day Elliott wave theory. I think any trader that practices Elliott wave theory 
uh, would absolutely agree with this. Now, the one thing that we don't know is what's going to happen next. But I, I, I do suspect, folks, that we are going to possibly see an ABC corrective wave here. And I'm going to go ahead here and clear the charts. I think that we could also run some advanced, uh, you know, advanced mathematics on this really quickly. So bear with me. I'm thinking there could be this chance we see what's called a, a bullish Gartley pattern or some sort of bullish butterfly pattern. Uh, something like this could be occurring uh, right now. And let's just throw this up. This was just kind of an idea I had. Uh, really, um, yeah, let's just throw this up. What I'm looking for here is for price action to come back up and really kind of range in this area right in here. In between this $5.75 level and really this $5.56 level, it could come up as high as this $6 mark as well. But if we see this uh, if the, if we see this price action play out like this, we could potentially have what's known as a bullish Gartley or a bullish butterfly. We might need to see the price. Uh, the, the price could come down uh, to five dollars thirty ish cents still. Uh, we could see this pattern extend, uh, but I would be looking for something like this to play out. And on the twelve hour chart, you know, I'm fully expecting. You know, maybe this is not financial or trading advice. I want to make that very clear. But I'm totally expecting something like this to play out. Um, you know, I want to see this price come back and check this 50 moving average because right now it's too far away from the Ichimoku cloud. So I am thinking that this is the likely path that we will see. And maybe we will get some momentum to the upside, you know, start climbing again. A lot of times what we'll see is Elliott Wave Theory inside of Elliott Wave Theory. So here is a sequence of Elliott Wave Theory like this. And a lot of times we'll see something like this happen where we'll see ABCDE retracement and then another run and then so on and so forth. So I'm thinking that is what possibly could be going on. Again, this is wild speculation, folks. I just sit around staring at charts and things like that all day long. So what do I know? Currently, we've got some support along this uh, support, the support trend line here. Uh, really, I mean, man, depending on how you slice this, you can see how this price is squeezing up into this corner. This is what's known as a rising wedge. So this would support my theory that we would see a drop in price, maybe down to those $5.30-ish uh, levels. But man, uh, the IC has been an absolute beast uh, the last few days. So with that said, uh, you know, this could be a channel too. Uh, it, it just is what it is. Uh, so let's just uh, hop on out of this, folks. Thank you for being with me today. We'll see you guys all on the next video. We'll uh, see you on the live stream tonight. Don't miss out on that. Peace.